number 6 then from the 2009 higher paper 2 a little population growth question yeah, the typical growth equation E with a positive index so what does it say N stands for the size of the population N naught is some original value not meaning at some starting time which you could call T naught and it says that was 2006 so I could say T naught is 2006 E in 2006, the population of the United Kingdom was approximately 61 million, so that was the N naught. N naught is going to be 61, we'll just say million as in times 10 to the 6, but leave that out till the end. Now, with an annual rate of increase, that will be the R, because it says R is the annual rate of increase, so I should take a note of that as well. R is the annual rate of increase. Now, it's expressed as a percentage, 1.6%. That's just one of the outfits a fraction can wear. I want the fraction to be a decimal to put it into this index form. So 1.6% simply means 1.6 divided by 100, which is 0 0.016. That's the decimal fraction equivalent to 1.6%. And it is just the decimal fraction, not 101.6% which would be the factor you would use to arrive at a final value in the recurrence type relation that you used previously, like in the standard grade. No, it just says the annual rate, that's the rate, 0 0.016. So it says, assuming that it remains constant, what would be the population in 2020? Well, 2020 means that T is going to be 14 years later. Starting from T0, that's 14. Just put it all in. This is just a pressing buttons question. N naught is 61 times 10 to the 6, if you like. I can just leave that bit out. E to the 0 0.016, and T is times T is 14. And if you like, afterwards I can put times 10 to the 6. So that's just if you need to work any particular part out. Just press those buttons, and it'll be there. And you get 76. 76.315 etc times 10 to the 6 so 76.3 times 10 to the 6 would be the answer you could write a million instead of 10 to the 6 if you so wished it didn't specify an accuracy for the numerical part of it so part A was straightforward enough B in 2006, the population of Scotland was approximately 5.1 million. So here we've got another one. N naught is 5.1 million. I'll just put times 10 to the 6 for that. With an annual rate of increase. So this is R of 0.43. Now watch point. I'll put it down. 0.43% means divide that by 100 to put it into the decimal form which is what you want to put it into the index, would be 0 0.0043. And it doesn't tell you a specific year to aim for, it just says how long would it take for the population to double in size. Well, actually, doubling in size means this. The population will have to be twice what it was, two times N naught. Now, it doesn't actually matter what it was. You can put that figure in if you like. But twice N naught simply means that the ends will cancel out of both sides. If I was to write down the equation, which is this, n equals n naught e to the 0.0043t. If n has to be twice n naught, then I could either say twice n naught equals n naught, etc. And obviously the n naughts would cancel out. Or if I went to the trouble of working it out and putting the numbers in, and saying, well, that's 5.1, so double it is 10.2. Then again, they're going to cancel down to 2. doesn't matter which you use. So I'm just going to go for the simplest one. 2 times n naught is n naught e to the 0.0043t. Now, it's t that I want. There's only one mention of t. So I can solve this linearly just by getting rid of all the bits I don't want. Get rid of the n naught, get rid of the e, and then get rid of this decimal. So maybe I'll put it around the other way first of all. So take it, get rid of the N naught, would make that equal to 2. I'll just put the 2 in this side, reading it this way. So I've got E to the 0 0.0043T equals 2. 
Now that's simply an exponential expression. I can remove the exponential, not by the tedious process of taking the log of that side and the log of that side, which I would do if this was some base that I didn't have, but I do know log base E, so I can immediately say the inverse of E to the power is going to be log base E, using that ln natural logarithm form of it. Finally, how can I get T? Divide. ln of 2, natural logarithm of 2, you can write log base E if you like, divided by point zero zero four three, And you get 161.197 and so on. So rounding it off approximately 161.2 years to double.